in this piece of code what I am going to do here is I am going to show you a little bit about how implicit typecasting works. So I have short int sh, I have an integer variable it, I have a float variable ft as 8.9. Then what I did is I said short is assigned in brackets integer which is assigned float upon 3 into 3. So what happens is the thing in the bracket gets evaluated first. Now since this is an assignment this fellow will get evaluated first. Float is 8.9. If you divide 8.9 since this is an integer this becomes 3.0. 8.9 divided by 3.0 will be something like 2.6 or something like that. Now the result is 2.6 but it is an integer type of variable so only 2 will get stored in the integer variable. Now the result of this bracket entire thing happens to be 2. it is 2 float value doesn't change so 2 into 3 is going to be 6 so short is going to have the value of 6. So if I go ahead and if I try to run this particular program so what is going to happen is you're going to see the output which was predicted by me. So here if you take a look at the output here you will have seen that float has remained as it is because we have not done any processing with float. Int has become 2 because as I told you 8.9 divided by 3 was 2.6 something like that. So int only took the real part it did not take the fractional part it only took 2. So int became 2 then 2 got multiplied with 3 therefore short happened to be 6. So this should help you understand how typecasting really works. So here if you have seen this typecasting 3 got converted to 3.0 but truncation occurred once it was taking over the value of this particular calculation. So the float variable forcing 3 to 3.0 is an example of implicit data type conversion.